Today let's see two special member functions called construct and destruct. Let's create a class called info. Let me save it as info.php. I'll create a variable var dollar info. I'll take var dollar name. Outside of the class, I'll try, I'll initiate the class, instantiate the class info, and then access the variable dollar name outside of the class. To check this, I'll give some value to dollar name. I'll give some string value to it. Now let's check this out on our browser. This is something similar to writing public dollar name. So the output should be same. Yeah. Let's make it private variable. Since dollar name is private, we cannot access it directly outside of the class. For example, dollar a and calling the name should give an error. That is, cannot access private property. So instead, we need to use those private variables inside of the class. So to start with the constructor, I'll write function underscore underscore construct is the name of our constructor in PHP. We could directly write the private variable name or else use this keyword. I'll assign some string value here. I'll call it welcome to constructor. Since we cannot access this private variable outside of the class, I'll echo the value of dollar name inside the class. Since the underscore underscore construct is a member function, we can directly access dollar name or else we can write use this keyword. I'll take this out. Let's check this on our browser. Okay, it's working. We could even remove the object here. Once info is called, the constructor is executed, the constructor function is executed and it throws an object which we could catch for further processing or else just leave it. And it works just fine. Now let's see parameterized constructor. I'll assign the value of dollar name to the parameters. Let me show with only single parameter here, single argument. Now I'll pass the value to the constructor. I'll pass parameterized constructor, which will then be passed to construct function dollar text and then which is assigned to the private variable dollar name which is then echoed out to the browser yeah it's working now as our previous example we'll just remove this out and separate the class file and the application file make sure you include info.php where your class file resides Next, 
the instantiation of the object. I'll save it as index.php. Now info.php only has the class that is the template. Wait, we need to save info.php. Now info.php doesn't output anything because it's just a class file. Our processing is inside our application file that is index.php. So now let's check with another special member function that is destruct. Underscore underscore destruct is the name of our special member function. I'll just echo out some string here. I'll call destructors called. Actually it's destructor des not dis. So destructor is underscore underscore des t r u c t destruct. This is the class which has two member functions that is construct and destruct. Remember destruct doesn't take any parameters. It's always empty. Once the instantiation that is info is called, the construct method is called and the parameter is passed to it, which is then which is then assigned to the private variable and is echoed to the browser. The destructor, the destructor function is automatically called when all references to a class have been unset or fallen out of scope. So now let's test this on a browser. Okay, it's working perfectly. Usually programmers connect to the database inside the construct function and inside the destruct function they just close the database because well it makes sense because construct is the starting point and destruct is the ending point of any class because construct is called at the very beginning and destruct is destruct is called at the very end of the object scope hence it makes sense but i would recommend you do all this in config file and auto load it somehow instead inside construct i would i would be interested in initializing all the apis and getting all the outputs of the APIs ready to be processed in other member functions. Inside destruct function, I would generally release those resources back to the operating system and release all those other resources I have been using in, a, in my applications back to the operating system. That would be a good practice for me. Remember, while we teach you Code Igniter framework, we will be showing you how to connect to the to the database using config file and how to auto load your databases. So this is your info class with construct and destruct functions with a private variable called dollar name. Once you instantiate construct is called and it throws an object which you could catch here and make use of this object for further processing using this object you could call the member functions which is public usually and using those public variables you could operate on the private variables of the class please practice this program and stay tuned for further object oriented programming using PHP video tutorials. Please share this video with your friends on Facebook, Google Plus, LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. And please visit technotip.com and do not forget to like this video on YouTube.